Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So I thought for today's video, since you guys really enjoyed my YSL Cassandra bag review, thought I would review the newest bag to my collection. Dun -dun -dun -dun. The Gucci Marmont Matalasi Mini. I love this size. I love everything about this bag, so I can't wait to share with you guys my thoughts. So at first, I was really torn between getting the black or the dusty pink but ultimately, I just decided on the black because I felt like it would match more of my outfits for a more casual look. I felt like it was easier to style for an everyday bag as well. So there's a lot of things I love about this bag. Firstly, the small size. I tend to gravitate towards mini bags in general because of my height. I'm only 5'1", 5'2 on a good day. A lot of bigger bags tend to look overwhelming on me so I always gravitate towards the mini ones. So because it's such a softly structured bag, it's very easy to style. Pretty good bag for casual slash everyday wear. It's so lightweight compared to my YSL bag which is a bit heavier. First thing I looked for when I got this this bag was how smooth the zipper would run. I think for me a pet peeve is when I buy a bag and the zippers don't run smoothly because it just becomes a hassle every time I need to take stuff in and out. But this one has a really smooth zipper so it doesn't snag on anything. Another thing I really love about this bag is that the stitching is super intricate. So you can tell how much thought and attention was put into this bag just by the stitching. And what's also nice is that if one of the stitching does come off, they do offer free repairs if you've had this bag for less than a year. Instead of it just being a solid black bag, the chevron detail really adds texture to your look. So even if you're wearing an all black outfit, it still stands out and adds more dimension to your entire outfit. The strap is made of leather and has the gold hardware chain down the ends, which I love because most designer bags with chains I find to be heavy and uncomfortable around the shoulders if I end up carrying too much stuff. One thing to note is that the strap is not adjustable, which did worry me at first since I tend to look for adjustable straps to fit my height. I was a little bit worried when I first tried this on, but this 24 inch drop isn't too bad and I feel comfortable when I'm reaching for stuff out of the bag. I would say if it was a little bit longer then it would be a little bit uncomfortable but if you're around 5'1 and a little bit taller than I am, I say it's a really good length. Um, something that I do when I'm not wearing it is I stuff tissue papers in there so that the bag doesn't lose its shape. And I always remember to put it back into the duster bag to prevent any scratching. The inside lining is made of a suede-like material so just be careful when you're putting in makeup and make sure that nothing is loose so nothing spills out and stains the fabric. Now I'm going to show you what fits in this mini size. It actually fits a lot more than you would think. If I had to be nitpicky and choose one thing that I would like to change is that the inside flap doesn't have a zipper but really other than that this bag is perfect. So I hope you guys found this very short review helpful. I really do like this bag and I think it's great for everyday wear. So if you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments below and hit subscribe for more content like this in the future. Bye!